Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am recording this lecture. In the previous lecture, while displaying data horizontally, I have covered a lot of topics. But today, uh, I got a mail from one of my subscriber who asked me like she has a data, she has this table in this form like id data1 as a column name data2 as a column name and these are the data fields okay data values now she want an output in this format now in ssrs as you know like there is no support of displaying table or any output in a horizontal manner other than the matrix now in the matrix you cannot have this uh, like this format directly so for this you have to play with a little trick with a cross apply uh, i will demonstrate you before that let me show you output of my program is in this i am getting same uh, data from same table now i have this data so for doing this you need to work with a small trick i am using the dot net the thing is i am using the rdlc so this will be the same in ssrs uh, because RDC, RDLC are the local report, SSR are, are just server report, so uh, it will not cause any difference. So I will show you how to do that. Now, for doing this, first of all, you must have basic knowledge of cross apply. Okay. Now I have this table one, which is having this data. Okay. Now I want to convert this data. Now with the cross apply, mostly people use cross apply when they have to get data from some other table. Now you can apply cross apply over same table you uh, as like a self join but you can do that with a cross apply now what you have to do is you have to just go with cross apply you have to create two values one is data one which is your column name now you have to select data one as a output now for the second row i want data two comma data one data two as a column name now here i will give it allies like t and with title and detail or you can say title or value and i will name this as like t2 okay now what i have to do is from this t1 I will select title comma t dot value comma and from the first table I need to select the ID t2 dot ID okay now with this if you will see your data turned into this format okay now this format you can directly apply matrix like use matrix or over this data to get in the same format what you want now if you will see if I compare it with my normal table what I did is I have two output uh, what I did is I got ID replicated two times then for the data one like for the data one I got its value and data two I got this value same I did for all the IDs okay this is the output I need for get generating the matrix report in the format which I want now going back to the matrix report so what I did is I created a data set I got this uh, I just uh, basically this you cannot directly copy with the data set so what you have to do is you have to create an SP stored procedure with the same definition okay let us create it as create proc mm, get data horizontal okay hori is okay now going to oh sorry as now just you have to copy this create this a data table finish now coming to our back to the RDLC let me delete this one okay now what I will do is I will just go into the data set I will use my data set which we just created okay now going to the toolbox dragging the matrix report I have to pull here title second value and for the above I need ID and for here I can just mark it as ID because this is only one column so I can mark it as ID I will just bold it bold this one now let me drag this here for my report viewer let me delete this Get report viewer again and uh, I will choose my RDLC ok just give me a second let me clear my window so that I can drag this up 
Tada! Your report is ready. Now the data you are getting in the format you asked for. Okay, I think there is some issue. Okay, one thing we haven't checked. Basically, it marked ID as an primary key. So this will give runtime error. So what I have to do is I just have to uh, remove its key, delete key. Okay, just have to save it. Now if I will run it. I got my output so here you can format it according to you like you want it uh, the alignment you want to do whatever you can do it so now as you see the data which you requested uh, like which was supposed to ask uh, which was supposed to come is coming uh, so if there is any question regarding uh, this you can ask me directly okay my email id is yogesh.mahela at the gmail.com also my website is in. you can download this script from there I will mention the URL of my article under the video and also my Skype ID is King Conspiracy you can directly contact me also my phone number is 902326 you can contact me directly also stay healthy keep learning